guys, in this video, I'm showing you how you can set up Airtable forms so you can accept and track your applications for your coaching program. Airtable makes automating your forms and submission process for your coaching program super simple. It makes it an absolute breeze. And Airtable is my favorite new tool that I started using in 2021. So if you are ready to simplify your coaching business, keep on watching. My name is Bree and I'm here to help you crush your course launch, create a wildly successful online program and achieve consistent monthly income in your business. So if these are goals you want to hit, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified every Friday when a new video goes live. But for now, let's dive into the tutorial. Once you sign up for either a paid or free account, you're going to find yourself on your main Airtable page. So the first thing we want to do is to add a base and I'm going to start that from scratch, choose your base name and that's where we start. So this is the grid view of your Airtable base. And this is where all of the information that you collect through your forms is going to live. We're going to go a little more into detail and add some new columns into this, but first let's create our form. So go from here to create a view and select form. And this will bring you to form view. So it has a few things set up. These are the fields that were in our grid view. You can see we have name notes, attachments, and status. So that form right now has those things. So we want to build out our form with whatever questions, whatever fields we want to get the right information for our coaching program for anybody who applies. So the status thing is internal and the attachments and the notes are all internal. So anything you want to remove from your form so it doesn't show up on that form, you can drag it over to the section over here. So I'm going to drag the notes over, the attachments over and a status over. So that doesn't delete those. Those fields are still found here in the grid view, but it just won't show up because it's not a fillable field that we want our applicants to be filling. So when it comes to your form, you want to add any fields to collect whatever data you want. So name, I like to add things like name, email, what's your business, what goals do you have with this program? What's your Instagram handle? How many subscribers do you have on your email list? Anything that is important for you to know as a coach, for making the right decision on whether to accept or reject somebody who has applied to your coaching program. So in order to add some new fields to the form, we're going to go and add a field to this table. So let's see we've, what we've got here. We've got single line text, there's long text, there's a whole bunch of options. So say you want a checkbox or a multiple choice, you can add those in. If you want to collect an email, so say we want to collect an email, I'll add that in. So this is your field. So your email and you can add in some extra information here. So description of what to do just to make it clear and easy for your applicants to fill out your forms. If I want to add some more forms, say I want to add a long text and make this set to say, describe your business and let's add in a multiple choice. So let's do a multiple select. And you can add your options in here and say option one, two, and three. So let's add that to our form. And when it comes to your form, you can drag and drop anything here. So say I want your name first, then your email, then I want them to select their niche and then describe their business. So you can keep adding to this until you have all of the pieces of your form that you want to be included in your form and then you are good to go. So on the free plan, there aren't a lot of options for customizing the form with your branding, but you can if you upgrade to a paid account. That's what these little sparkles are here for, anything that is for a paid account. But you can do everything in this tutorial with the free account, so we don't need to do that. Um, it's not essential. So the last thing we want to do here on the form view is to make sure that we get notified whenever somebody submits the form, because we want to come in here and look at the submitted application so we can review it and either accept or reject those coaching clients. So in order to do that, you'll find the option down here. You just want to turn that on and set to receive an email at whatever email you signed up for Airtable with. So once that's on, now I'll get an email every time somebody submits a form and there's new data for me to review. So after we do that, let's go and go back to our grid view. So now you can see all of the extra fields we added in on the form are now here in our grid view. And you can arrange all of these things 
any way you want as well. You can move those around and that will change them here. But the important part about the grid here is we also want to make our status. All of your applicants will show up here. So we want to change the status so that we know which ones have been accepted, which have been rejected and which ones we still need to review. So I'm going to click on the status and let's customize field type. So let's go and change this to rejected, accepted, and to review. Now, when somebody fills out that form, we want the status to automatically be set to the to review. So when we come into Airtable, we know there's these applicants that we need to review and either accept or reject from our coaching program. But how do we set that up so that happens automatically? Well, we're gonna need to set up an automation. So in order to set up the automation to set the status to, to review whenever a new form is submitted, we wanna to go to automation and create a new automation. So let's call this update status and choose a trigger. So we want this to happen when a record is created. So that is when somebody submits a form. So when record created, and we wanna select table one, that's the only table we have right here inside our test base. So let's run that test just to make sure it's working. Okay, so that's done. And now we have the trigger set up. We wanna set our action. So our action is to update a record. So when somebody submits a form, it will create a new record that is a row in your base. So we wanna update that so the status is set to the right status. So we're gonna to go to update record, select a table, again, table one, and the record ID. So we wanna go and set that to the same trigger that we set up up here. So the record from step one, when a record is created, continue, and we wanna select the record ID and insert. So once we do that, we can choose the fields that we want to update. So you can set automations to update any of these fields you have in your base, but we wanna choose the status fields. I'm gonna go down here to status, and then we want to enter in the status that we wanted to update to. So I want this to update to, to review. So I'm going to type that in there and then let's run that test. So you can see the test added another record and labeled the status as to review. So once you're done that, it's all set up. You can go here and turn that automation on. And now your automations are going to run. And when somebody submits a form, you'll get an email that a new form has been submitted and it'll show up here under to review. So you can group and sort by the fields as well. So I like to group it by status and that way it will group based on that. So say I changed this and I accepted. So this would be grouped down here under accepted. So you can have little buckets for each section. So you can set it to have your two reviewed at the top and then you have the ones you need to review right there to go. But when you wanna come in here and review your application, you can just go in here and click on the expand record and that will bring up the whole record for that person. So all of these will be filled by the applicant and you can add in your notes in the notes field, add attachments if you have them and all that. So this is where you would go and then say you accept this person, you send them that email and accept them to the program, you can go and label them as accepted and they'll move down to that bucket. But the last step to set this all up is to go and share your form. So let's go back into form view and when this is all ready to go, you can click on share form. You can either grab the link here and simply share that link with your audience and that will bring them to this form or you can click to embed the form on your site and that will bring up the embed code, which you can copy and paste that into your web page or sales page, your application page, wherever you want this form to go. I normally include one on my sales page for the applications for my coaching program. But that is it. This is how you use Airtable to create forms and keep track of all of your applicants for your coaching programs or courses or whatever you have running in your business. All right, guys, that is it for this video. But before you go, if you've been thinking of adding an online course to your business to add that extra stream of passive income, then I can help you there. I'm hosting an exclusive free training called Course Idea to Consistent Profit. In this training, you'll learn my simple step-by-step -step formula to create, launch, and scale your profitable online course business in 90 days flat. And all of this can be achieved without already having a huge audience and without relying on paid ads. 
So click the link in the description below to grab your spot. It is completely free and I am dropping some of my best insights in this training. There has literally never been a better time to create your online course and I would love to help you make that a reality. And as always, thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, hit subscribe and share it with another coach or creator who could also benefit from these videos. If you are ready to take your course-based business to the next level, check out these videos next.